Do you believe that you are a stutterer or a stammerer? Do you tend to see yourself as a person who stutters or stammers? When you dream, do you dream and see yourself struggling with your speech? I know this happened to me for decades and decades. When I would dream, I'd see myself struggling. So, do you believe, do you identify yourself as a stutterer? If so, this is limiting your potential and limiting your ability to do the things that you want to do, to be the person that you want to be, say the things that you want to say. It literally is holding you captive like a mental prisoner, meaning it is keeping you from being heard. Right? There are social situations, there are professional situations where you have something to say, and if other people heard it, they'd be amazed but you're not saying it because you believe yourself to be a person who stutters because this is what's happened to you in the past. It's a part of your identity. And therefore, they're not hearing this important information, the important ideas, the things that you really want to say. My name is Michael Williams, and today we're going to be talking about the second deadly stuttering mindset, which is identifying yourself as a stutterer. Now, identifying yourself, that is, Saying that I am, I am, is very different than saying that sometimes I get stuck or I have a disfluency, right? Or sometimes I get stuck on these words. Those are two different things. When you believe that you are, then you're claiming it as something that's a part of you. You're identifying with it. And what that does, the effect that that has on you, is now any situation that you go into, you're carrying that identity with you. You're even, and you probably have, limited your choices, your career choices, your relationship choices, the things that you participate in, the foods that you order, the conversations that you get in. You've limited those and organized those around your identity, around who you believe yourself to be as a speaker. This is deadly because it's killing off your potential, and it's killing off your potential to be heard. You deserve to be heard, and people deserve to hear what you have to say. So what we want to do, instead of carrying around and identifying, seeing yourself as a person who stutters, is we want to uh, create the confident speaker's mindset. This mindset is very different. This mindset changes how you plan your future it changes the conversations you get in. It changes your career choices. It changes your relationship. It changes how you respond when you do have a disfluency. And remember, everyone has disfluencies. Everyone does. I do. Any and every great speaker does. So when you see yourself instead as a confident speaker, it's an amazing speaker, it's a great speaker, it changes how you respond to those things. Let me give you an example. When a person identifies themselves as a person who stutters, it doesn't matter what program they go through, when they have disfluencies, if they have a bad day or something, they immediately begin to think, aha, here it goes, I'm regressing, this isn't working, right? They immediately start becoming frustrated. It often will ruin the rest of their conversation. They'll beat themselves up, right? They'll be thinking about it for hours and days and sometimes weeks. I know this because it happened to me and, and other people, my clients have told me this, so it's true. So this is how a person who sees themselves as a stutterer thinks and feels and how they respond. Now, alternatively, a person who has some disfluencies but sees themselves as a confident speaker, this is how they're going to respond. So they have a little disfluency and it's like a bump in the road driving along, you go over a bump in the road, oh, okay, that was just a bump in the road, and next time I'll try to avoid that, or they won't even think about it, right? So they quickly recover, they don't even think about it. It doesn't mess up the rest of their speech, it doesn't mess up the rest of their day or week, they don't beat themselves up, because it's not who they are, it's simply something that they did or something that happened to them. Does that make sense? Big difference. Not only that, when you see yourself as a confident speaker, it changes the choices that you make, both career-wise, both professionally and socially, right? You make different choices because you have different options. You feel freer to 
choose the options that best fit your ideal person, the person that you want to become, the things you want to do, you make choices based on that and not based on the limitations of your speech. Well, I can't do this, can't do that, so therefore I'm not going to choose this, I'm not going to choose that. Does that make sense? Do you follow me? So when you identify yourself as a person who stutters, it limits your professional life, your social life. It also causes you to respond and react to those disfluencies that are going to happen. It causes you to respond and react very differently. So what I want to encourage you to do instead is to begin to take on, to develop the confident speaker's mindset. This mindset says, when I speak, people listen. People love to listen. I'm an amazing speaker. I'm an excellent speaker. I'm able to persuasively, and powerfully, and confidently say the things that I want to say, when I want to say them, the way that I want to say them. Right. Now, I know some of you are saying, well, if I just say that, that's not enough. Or I've tried that and I felt good for you know, a couple of days or a week, an hour or so. Then I had a disfluency and I regress, so this stuff doesn't work. Well, here's the thing. One of the things that you have to be able to do is to change your mindset along with changing the way that you speak. Every successful person has had a model, someone else that they've looked up to, someone else that they've copied, that they've mimicked, call this observational learning, that has given them the blueprint, right? The blueprint to build their own speaking style, their own uh, musical style, their own athletic style, their own leadership style, whatever it is, they've looked at a blueprint that someone else had. So why shouldn't you and I, right? Some of the greatest speakers in the world that you see had a blueprint, they've had a model. When you speak, People listen. People want to hear. You're going to be able to be more persuasive when you're in meetings, in sales, if you're in school, in professional, in social situations. When you speak, people are going to listen. They're going to want to hear you. So when you begin to see yourself and identify yourself as a confident speaker, because you're going to be more authentic, you're going to be more authoritative, you're going to be more accurate in what you say, then you literally are changing your identity. Okay, Here's an action exercise. I'd like for you to spend about a minute each day picturing and seeing yourself as an amazing speaker. So picture yourself having a conversation or giving a presentation and seeing people nod and smiling, acknowledging you seeing yourself have an impact, seeing people clap at the end. Picture yourself doing this each day, just for a minute. And what will begin to happen is you'll begin to change the mindset from seeing yourself, even though you might not be actively doing it, you have a self-image, you'll be seeing yourself struggling, getting stuck, you'll be getting that sense, that feeling. So I want you to actively control your self-image, your self-concept, your identity by picturing yourself each day for just a minute having smooth conversations. Now you're going to find some resistance. It's going to be hard for you to do that at first, but the more you do it, the more you'll be able to do it. Prove to yourself, wow, I can speak smoother. Look at this. And when you see yourself speaking smoother, that is your competence, your confidence increases. I call this the confident competence cycle. The more competent, the better you become the more confidence you have, the more confident you feel, the more confident you become, the more competent you become, and they continue to cycle around and feed each other. Hey there, my name is Michael Williams, Pro Energy founder and smooth speech coach. Are you tired of struggling with your speech? Ready to transform your life and boost your confidence? Then it's time for you to enroll in my Pro 90 d private laser focus coaching program. I can only say is thanks. I'm due to Pro 90 d and Michael and the support and how he's just changed my life and my speech. I honestly think that if not for the laser focus coaching with Michael, I wouldn't be where I am right now. It's just impossible. Don't let speech struggles hold you back. Book your call or enroll today. Let's take the first step towards a smoother, more confident you. Let's do it together. Book your call or enroll today.